Two days of severe weather shows just how dangerous summer storms can be. And tonight we're looking at lightning and what you need to know to keep you and your family safe. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live with staying alive in lightning. Chris. Well, Erica, yesterday we had those storms pass through just before 6 o'clock. I was scheduled to go live for our broadcast in Westfield. I couldn't do it. It was too dangerous. We stayed inside of the car. But it raises the question, where are you safe when you're outside? And the answer is simple, you're not. So far this year, seven people have been killed by lightning. Nearly one year ago, three children were struck and injured once seriously at a Zinesville summer camp, a lightning strike out of the blue from a parent thunderstorm that was miles away. RTV6 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Gregory says there is no safe place outdoors during a thunderstorm. The mistake that we make oftentimes outdoors is we think it's not raining yet, I don't have to go in, I've got a little bit more time to continue mowing the lawn, to continue the game, to continue to swim. But that's not true. Lightning can strike 10 miles out ahead of the thunderstorm. According to the National Weather Service, 38% of lightning deaths happen under trees while people are trying to seek shelter. 37% of deaths happen in open fields or on highways. Ways. And finally, 25% of all lightning deaths happen on or near the water. Meteorologists think that because thunderstorms are so common, it's easy to become complacent during the summer, the peak times for these powerful storms. It doesn't really scare me a lot. Um, when it comes with a storm, maybe it's a little more scary. Uh, I spend a lot of time in Missouri. We've got lots of tornadoes down there. But in a thunderstorm, anything outdoors is a potential target, even from miles away. And so remember, when you do go inside, that lightning can strike your home. It can strike outside, travel through your wiring in your home. It can also affect your plumbing. So that means stay off of cordless phones. Avoid taking a shower until that storm is long gone. Reporting live downtown, Chris Prophet, RTV6.